Yep. Two hot in the hot tub. Gotta get it cooler. Wow! Oh, oh, sorry. Hey, <laughs> Jason here at Direct Pro Audio. That's my other job. Um, today we're going to talk about 70 volt amplifiers. You might also hear them as a distributed line system. What does that mean and why is it important? All right. If you have a DJ system, don't watch this video. Forget about me. Erase me from your mind. Go somewhere else. If you have a warehouse or a church or a school or an office building and you need to put tens, twenties, or hundreds of speakers in your facility, pay attention to this video. This is a question we get all the time and that's why we're here. So, a 70 volt system is for when you want to put in a lot of ceiling speakers or uh, maybe smaller speakers that are surface mount, you know, you've seen them in a little corner somewhere, or bullhorns, uh, any of those types of speakers. But the bottom line is, it's in a place where you want to put a lot of them. So, uh, with other types of amplifiers, it, you'd have to have one amplifier for every four or six speakers. With a 70 volt or distributed line system, we don't have to do that. We can have one amplifier. This is one of our most popular ones. Any amplifier will do that's 70 volt. This is a Yorkville CA1, and it's got um, 180 watts of power inside. But I'm going to make this a nice, even round number for y'all. Let's just say that you have a warehouse and it's uh, 10,000 square feet. So you decide that you're going to need to put 100 speakers in there. So go to our whiteboard here, and you're going to put in 100 speakers. So we need to find an amplifier that's going to give you enough power to run all those. Now here's how you do it. With ceiling speakers, or any 70 volt speaker, you can interchange them any way you want. This little speaker right here, this guy can be full range, meaning it's everything that the human ear can hear. The next guy, he might be a subwoofer, he might just do low frequencies. The next guy could be another sub, and then this guy could be full range. You can mix it up any way you want. Also, you could do ceiling speaker, ceiling speaker, ceiling speaker, ceiling speaker, and then maybe a little surface mount guy for in a corner somewhere. But the basic gist of a 70 volt system is that you connect all of these guys together. Here's your amplifier. And he just sends one line of signal out and it goes on and on and on. Now here's how you determine what it is you need for power in your system. On this particular ceiling speaker right here, you have different places where you can put your wires in and they are all labeled with a different value so let's just for sake of ease say that you had um, you need to put in a hundred speakers and each of your hundred speakers you wanted to tap at 10 watts okay well that's real simple then 10 watts times a hundred speakers you need 1000 watts but don't get an amplifier that only has a thousand watts of power. You need something called headroom. Let's say you've got yourself a uh, automobile and if your automobile can only drive 56 miles an hour and you intend to need to drive it in traffic at that same uh, amount of speed all the time you're going to really strain and stress your automobile. It's going to blow up on you. So in audio we recommend that you have a 20 preferably 30% worth of headroom. So what you really need to buy is an amplifier that's got 1200 to 1300 watts of power. And then from that point on guys it's real easy. Just daisy chain those things as long as you've got watts available. And the other thing is too, you might tap this at 10 watts, the next one at 10, the next one you could tap at 25, and maybe further on the road this guy over here in the corner you might only tap him at 7.5 watts. So you have a, a huge amount of flexibility. Uh, also, think about this way. You can have one amplifier running 100 speakers in five different rooms, and you can have the volumes in each of those rooms either controlled by a wall plate that's independent that handles just that room, or you can just physically go in and tap all of the speakers in that room at a lower or higher level than the other rooms. So it gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility, and 70 volt amplifiers, um, because they can run so many speakers, they are a little bit more pricey than a standard amplifier that you would use for DJ use, but still not a lot. So um, I know this can be confusing, but this is the basic answer to your question on, on how do I run a 70 volt amp, what does it do, and how many speakers can I put on it. That's how you figure it out. 
Just make sure that the amount of speakers that you have is not drawing more than what the power says on your amplifier, and you're golden. Thanks again for watching. This is Jason at Direct Pro Audio.